Hello and welcome to Loss Reserving Fundamentals. In this short video, we are going to talk about IBNR. I'm Don Grimm, actuary and owner of Archer Actuarial Consulting. So, what is IBNR? IBNR is an insurance acronym that stands for Incurred But Not Reported. In order to define IBNR, it is important to understand its role in the broader context of loss reserves, so let's start there. What is a loss reserve? In short, a loss reserve is a provision for unpaid claim liabilities. When a company writes an insurance policy, it is making certain obligations to its policyholder, including the payment of claims covered by the policy. These obligations can extend for years beyond the effective date of the policy. The precise timing and amount of any claim payments are unknown at the inception of the policy and often for years into the future. Loss reserves are established by insurers to help ensure they have adequate capital to cover unpaid claim obligations. Let's discuss a few important characteristics of loss reserves. First, consider that all loss reserves are estimates. This is because the timing and amount of future loss payments are uncertain. Loss reserve estimates are generally provided by actuaries. Next, it is useful to realize that loss reserves change over time. Changes occur as claims are paid, new risks are insured, and estimates are revised. Lastly, when referencing loss reserves, timing is critical. Since loss reserves change over time, it is important to specify the evaluation date, the fixed point in time when loss reserves are evaluated. Loss reserves can be broken into two main types, case reserves and IBNR. A company's total reserves equals the sum of its case reserves and IBNR. Case reserves are estimates of unpaid claim liability for specific claims. Case reserves are established by claims adjusters who review the details of each individual claim to estimate future payments. IBNR is the portion of unpaid claim liability not covered by case reserves. Actuaries use financial models to estimate future payments beyond those considered in the case reserving process. Here we have our first and broadest definition of IBNR. IBNR is the portion of unpaid claim liability not covered by case reserves. Equivalently, IBNR equals total loss reserves minus case reserves. Let's look more closely at the reasons case reserves alone are not generally sufficient to fund future claim payments. There are four sources that contribute to an insurer's need for IBNR. They are case reserve development, late reported claims, reopened claims, and pipeline claims. It is important to note that IBNR is an aggregate reserve. The above sources are rarely quantified individually. Let's explore each of these components in more detail. Number one, case reserve development. Adverse case reserve development is often the largest component of an insurer's IBNR. There are several common sources of upward case reserve development. Newly reported claims require time to be processed and accurately case reserved. It is common practice to establish a relatively small case reserve as a placeholder on newly reported claims in advance of a detailed review. Insufficient or inaccurate claim information affects claim adjuster's ability to estimate future expected payments. It can take years to determine the scope and liability of complex claims. Claims inflation is rarely considered in the case reserving process. 
This is particularly relevant in workers' compensation, wherein medical inflation can be significant and sustained for many years over the course of a claimant's treatment. Changes in claimant's medical condition is a significant source of adverse case reserve development in workers' compensation. Claims adjusters cannot reasonably be expected to anticipate such changes, and accordingly, they are not reflected in case reserves. Lastly, unwarranted optimism may lead to inadequate case reserves. Case reserve levels may be influenced by optimistic expectations from sources such as company management or outside legal counsel. Number two, late reported claims. Occurrence-based policies cover claims that occur within the policy period. The insurer is generally responsible for these claims, even those that are reported beyond the policy period. In order to visualize late reported claims, consider a diagram with the occurrence date on the y-axis and the report date on the x-axis. In this illustration, the yellow portion represents claims that occur and are reported within the policy period. The area in green represents late reported claims, that is, claims that occur within the policy period but are reported after the end of the policy period. Theoretically, this period extends indefinitely, though practical and contractual claim reporting limits often apply. With respect to loss reserves for occurrence-based policies, late reported claims do not yet have case reserves established. Therefore, the entire provision for the unpaid losses needs to be included in estimates of IBNR. Late reported claims are a significant source of IBNR. Number three, reopen claims. If no payment is expected on a claim, or if it has been inactive for a period of time, the claim may be closed. Closed claims generally have no case reserves. A reopen claim is a previously closed claim that is once again open with case reserves. This component generally represents a small portion of IBNR. Number four, pipeline claims. Pipeline claims are also called reported but not recorded claims. As this description suggests, these claims relate to occurrences that have been reported to the insurer but have not yet been formally recorded as claims. This source of IBNR exists simply due to processing or timing lag and generally represents a small portion of IBNR. In summary, IBNR is the portion of unpaid claim liability not covered by case reserves, or equivalently, IBNR equals total loss reserves minus case reserves. There are four main sources of IBNR, case reserve development, late reported claims, reopened claims, and pipeline claims. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out our other videos in the Loss Reserving Fundamentals series by visiting us at www.archeractuarial.com.